guys welcome back to the allotment i'm nick and it is march today the 23rd i'm back down the allotment and i've been doing a bit of planting and i'm just going to show you what i've been up to i've also tidied the shed because i had really trashed it i think over winter i've just done jobs done this and that and just kind of filled out rubbish and it was just really unorganized anyway it's now a little bit more organized so i'll show you what i've been up to these here are my mint plants so i planted mint cuttings got the mint from the supermarket for my cocktails and um just thought i'd plant a few up so i did put them in water first for about a week a week and a half small little roots came through but with um, mint anyway, you can do that. You can just pop them in water and they root really easily. Smell amazing. So that's my mint for my cocktail sorted this year. I also have grown some sunflowers. Now I don't know what sunflowers these are because literally I was just eating some sunflower seeds which I'd also got from the supermarket and I thought, let's see if these grow. So just planted a few and literally within a week, they all came up. So I was like, oh my God, that's really good. So a bit excited because I have a whole load of them here. And I also have some in trays. Some took a bit longer to come up than others, as you can see. Um, but of course I don't know what kind of sunflower they're going to be. I'm hoping they're going to be a small multi-headed sunflower because that's one of my favourites and we had those come up a few years ago in the chicken coop after the chickens had gone out the leftover feed which had got sunflower seeds in just all grew into really nice sunflowers so that's sort of like keep watching we'll see what comes up on these so nice surprise I think that's the good thing about seeds sometimes if you plant them and you don't know exactly what the mother plant was it's just great to watch them develop and see how how they come on and what they turn into now also a few years ago I planted some snow banana I'm just going to show you the packet this is the packet can you see that that's the packet that's what I got and this is what they look like they're quite a large seed and now I grew these a few years ago and they came up brilliantly and they grew so quickly I just thought they'd be really nice to have in get a sort of medium sized pot you know so size ish and um, plant some up and see how they go they obviously th it says winter hardy as soon as the frost came and went cold my last ones died um, so I think it's a matter of with these you um, cut all the leaves off cut it down and then store it in perhaps a greenhouse or something over the winter cover it up with some fleece as well and uh, then you can bring it out the following summer so I'm going to plant some of these up and show you over the months how it develops and that's the snow banana um, brilliant brilliant leaves I mean it was so fascinating to watch it grow I think it must have been about three four years ago that I last grew these and literally just going through a few drawers and came across them I thought you know that'll be great I just love watching them develop now with these you have to soak them I think for okay it grows up to 3.5 meters and it says it grows that fast it can grow one meter high in four months well, we don't even have well, that much sunshine here so we will have to um, bring it in through the winter the germination takes three to six weeks which is like ages perhaps I should have started this more like winter time and kept it in the house okay it says it's very hardy oh and the, yeah the seeds are very hard and should be roughened up with some sandpaper which I have already done on this one and then you soak them I think for a certain amount of time let me see I'm sure you soak them first for so for so long. Anyway, I'm going to soak mine now. So I'm going to put that in a tub with some water and just soak these up. 
probably for a few days I'll soak these. They are pretty, pretty tough, tough seeds. So I'm just gonna leave that soaking really. I might grow two just in case one fails. It's probably best because otherwise I'll be gutted. So with the sandpaper, I've just gone over the seed a little bit. Pretty tough nuts these are. Right, there you go. So let's get those all wet. And I will leave those to soften up a bit. Right, so a few of the other things that I have been growing are I'll show you. I've got my butternut squash there. And I've used just these containers, as you can see, because I just had a load of them anyway, and they're, I like the size. And then I've got these here. I'm hoping that these ones are not too large, so I can just sort of bake them whole, or stuff them and bake them whole. I've got my cucumber, so I've done a tray of cucumbers. There we go, you can sort of see what they are there. My okra. I've never grown that before, I just fancied it, so I'm giving it a go. In here we've got purple sprouting, and look, they're just coming up, bless them. It's my purple sprouting. And then here I have my scarlet kale which again, can you see, just starting to come up. There they are. This is my runner beans. Now I love runner beans, like favorite vegetable with my kale. That's the Scarlet Emperor. And then I also have the runner bean prize winner. Here I have some asparagus and asparagus, two asparaguses and another two asparagus. I mean, I love asparagus and they are going to take a long time to come up those. So um, I've done I've done four trays of the asparagus. Now here I have strawberries. Excuse my name labels. I am going to get some better ones of these. I have a load of slate I picked up. So I think I might make some. And then I've got four trays here of strawberries. There they are. So that's everything I've been planting over the last few days. And then over here, I have another strawberry. That's a special larger strawberry. My sunflowers, my mint again, and the sunflowers. And then left to plant, obviously is my snow bananas, some onions, that I don't think I'm planting. I think it's like a giant um, pumpkin, but I'm not going to plant those. There's my snow bananas. Let's back over there. And these are, I'm thinking they look like um, strawberry seeds again. I know they look quite large, but I think they are supposed to be a bit like this variety here, an extra large... Um, extra large strawberry so we will plant those in a minute as well and I think that's it for my planting really um, I can't think of anything else I want to plant but um, I'll go and show you outside how everything's going because it's all coming on pretty well all right my first raised bed which is my herb raised bed. The fever few is growing brilliantly. The thymes are here. I'm thinking of perhaps putting some stones underneath them because I know it's just going to be a bit rich for them. The coriander. My rocket is doing really really well. Little one there look. And these are all the little chamomiles I planted. Also doing really really well. And then I've got my two rosemaries. Another two rosemary's different variety. The garlics. And then around the side here, I've got dill and sage. So that's how the bed is looking. There we go. And over here is the strawberries and asparagus. 
And then this bed here, I do have my kale. You can't see it very well. That's my scarlet kale in there. I've had to put these on because the pigeons just stripped the leaves. And then the purple sprouting, which is starting to get little bits of actual broccoli on them. Purple sprouting broccoli. Right, now my next bed is here, which I haven't took the liner out yet and filled up. And then for Mother's Day, my husband made me another two raised beds. And then that's the rest of the site going down. I'm doing pretty well for bricks and bits and bobs. And down here, we've got the rhubarb, which is starting to come up. As you can see, looking great. And I have one here as well. And here, a little one here. This is my new one. Which I think was red, called red something. I can't remember now, but it was like ruby red or something. And it does look very different to the others. And then there's this one here, which I think was one that was given from someone else on the site. And the blueberries are starting to come alive now bud up. They're looking really good. And then the black currants here are looking healthy and nice. And then we've got the black currants which are also starting to get some nice leaves on. That's one there. And then one here. So they both look very nice. Now the next ones are the gooseberries. As you can see they're coming back to life now and leaves coming on them. And this gooseberry here. If you can see, but they are sort of coming back to life a little bit. Now my trees have planted. This one is the bush plum and as you can see it is um, doing very well. This next one isn't doing so well. It looks, oh, it's, it, it's actually just crispy dead, it's not looking great at all. I'd say that one is, is probably dead. We'll see anyway, we'll see, you never know. And this one here, which should be another plum, Victoria, is also, I mean, not looking great, but maybe that is something, if anyone else knows. It's not exactly bright green or anything, but um, it's got one, one long stem at the side look, and then short ones that aren't really coming to anything. Don't know why they've all been cut off like that. Well, literally with a weird shape so I'm not sure about that one then we go on to the pears so this one is the conference pear now that looks okay okay it's not like burst into life or anything but um, it, it doesn't look dead anyway I mean that there looks um, a bit better so we've got that pear we have another pear here Ah, now that does look like it's coming back to life. Look, I can actually see green buds on that one. That looks promising, even though it looks pretty small. And the next pair, which is Red William, I actually can see coming back to life in there, but the buds at the top here are not, but I can see it is in there. Then we've got the apples. This one is the russet, and yes, it is coming to life. I can, oh, apart from the fact I just knocked it off, but yes, it is coming back to life, and that looks okay. And here, this one is the, this one might be the cooker. 
Um, something's happening at the top there. That looks okay. Hoping that's healthy. It looks quite a furry thing. I don't know if that's normal. And then here we have the Arthur Turner and that one's looking great. I mean literally just, just the shape of it alone all coming off like that. They're all looking um, really happy and healthy. There's quite a few of those so that one's looking the best to be honest. Even the shape of it all looks great. So there you go, that's a view back up the allotment. And um, I've just got to get these next raised beds filled up. Obviously I'll cut the bottom out and put it up the side a little bit and fill it full. But I'm just waiting for compost and other things to fill it up with. So there you go, that's what's happening at the moment on the allotment. I'll show you my bulbs at the front. Here's the bulbs. So at the front, there's the bulbs along the front. I've had a few flowers already. The dwarf irises came up. And this is how it's all looking. There's the shed and the allotment space. I'll show you inside the shed because I actually have it cleaned up now. So I've got that there with my plants on tidied up a bit, compost warming up, and then my other plants at the side there. I've also added extra at the back here. So I've put, I did a bit more painting, put a little shelf up, and then I've got my bits and bobs up there. I've got my seeds mainly in the metal tins, so little mices don't eat them. I've got a few hooks for my trowels to go on and that's how it's looking so I will get around to painting the rest of the shed which is just that bit left now that sort of back and corner left um, but yeah there we go all looking fantastic I hope you like my little tour if you'd like to see how everything goes over the next few months and how it grows then um, please subscribe and I'll see you next time on the allotment.